spoke to you, another spirit feed Let me message ask the ladies if you can, as a point of contact, just you place your hand channel, on your stomach. If you this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe and button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to Remember share this message your things, things, because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Oh, graces are going to be imparted to you and then God is going to visit you. Thank you for watching. Holds you closely to his side With love and strength for each new day He will make a way He will make a way Let me rebuke the spirits that are masquerading behind all of these demonic things Father, I stretch my hands right now If there is anyone here that behind these manifestations of darkness are evil spirits, unclean spirits, yokes, curses, all kinds of ordinances. I stretch my hands over you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. I speak to you in the name of Jesus like prophet Eli spoke over Hannah according to the, ah, I'm seeing fire this is what I'm seeing I'm just seeing fire move over people Satan the Lord rebuke you release them now release them now release them now release them now in the name of Jesus Christ release them now I stand in partnership with the Holy Ghost and I declare be fruitful be fruitful fruitful the Lord gave it as a command we stand as a ministry and enforce it over your life and as I'm praying for these ones anyone in the congregation who is trusting God for the miracle of fruitfulness fire is falling in the name of Jesus I declare be fruitful be fruitful Whatever the medical condition is, we veto it by the word of God. And we declare, according to the time of life, go and return with your children. And for those of you trusting God for twins, in the name of Jesus, we release twins. Those of you trusting God for triplets, in the name of Jesus, we release triplets. You will think it's a joke till you stand to dedicate them here. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus. There is one of you here I'm seeing a spirit always appears to you. And this is something that also happened to your sister. They tell you they have visions where wicked spirits appear to them. Who is that person? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every foul devil that will not allow you enjoy your marriage. In the name of Jesus, we declare a separation right now. A separation right now. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Hallelujah. Hmm. Koinonia. You are here and your business is not working at all. I'm not, I don't mean you are rising, you are managing. It's like there is an attack. I want you to leave your seat and run and come and stand here. God wants to surprise you. Please listen to what I'm saying before you come. Let's be orderly, let's be obedient. You will not be down except this anointing let me tell you the truth what will happen you will marvel and wonder at the lifting power that is in the name of jesus if you are if you are in any of the overflows just move to your leds you may not be able to come here those outside you can just move to your leds and connect by faith don't say it does not matter this is why god has organized this to attend to the issues of people hallelujah make sure that whatever business you are involved with is not a business that kills steals and destroys 
are we together yes we're not going to waste our time praying for people who are doing demonic things we, we it's important that your value that what you are doing is adding value to people and not something that is destroying lives but i want to release an anointing upon you you will be surprised honestly are you ready father you have anointed us for this purpose there are people here who have cried there are people right now as i speak you have gone down like it's not you are owing to the millions tens of millions hundreds of millions it's not business that will bring you out it's the prophetic that will bring you out i strike move from left to my right in the name of jesus at the count of three receive a baptism of the grace for excellence one two three take that grace now 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 i release you go and prosper go and excel go and prosper go and excel listen every business that has died here hear ye the word of the lord between now and the next three months i command come back to life to life come back to life anyone here who is in debt you are owing banks you're owing financial institutions you are owing and there is no way you can come out I call upon Ebenezer the God who helps men and I declare unto you come out of that financial situation Alas, master for it was borrowed and he said where fell it I'm speaking to you again in the name of Jesus if there are wrong people in your business I take them out now and the right people who need to join your chariot I bring them in prophetically in the name of Jesus Christ stretch your hands towards me your hand is a symbol of your productivity. I place an anointing on these hands. Go and excel. Go and excel. In the name of Jesus. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Return back to your seat rejoicing. The power of God is coming on someone but it is not for you i'm saying that is for your brother but you are only receiving from him he's not been promoted for nearly 10 years this is what i'm seeing he has been working i don't know where he's working but there's not been promotion at all do you know what it means to be in a place and you're just marking time there i don't know who that person is whether you are here in the main auditorium or outside but in the name of jesus you don't have to come out the son of the living god i decree and declare that the anointing of the spirit lands upon your life and let there be supernatural pro promotion for your brother in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ mercy mercy i'm hearing the name mercy mercy please sit down please sit down koinonia sit down for a minute mercy who is mercy mommy some of you have been coming out for everything make sure that make sure that please faith 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 does not function in disobedience Listen, faith does not function. Faith in one word I have taught you is obedience. It doesn't mean you have to come out to receive. Some people can even come out here, I've told you, and see go back and nothing happens. So please, let's be orderly so that it doesn't mean that once a case is mentioned, whether it concerns you or not, mercy. If you are standing in for someone, please go back. Make sure you are the mercy yourself. Hallelujah. I want to deliver a family of mercy from witchcraft. Hmm. This thing has tied people in that family down. Sincere people, but they cannot rise. 
when I begin to minister deliverance, one of the things that God is going to be taking from families is this demonic cloud of limitation that does not allow people to rise. It looks like the moment someone begins to rise, something just stops him. I will first pray for them, but that prayer is going to extend to everyone. Mercy. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands now. The Lord, the, this is why God brought you out here. There is a mighty deliverance going to happen. Father, every covenant that is connected to ancestry or any legal access that Satan has over the family of mercy that gives him authorization, I come by the blood and I declare right now, let that yoke be broken now, broken now, broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered right now yokes of ancestry spirits of backwardness that keeps taking people back be delivered now please help our mother be delivered now hear me for all of you who have come forward I push you prophetically go forward go forward and as I'm praying for them I'm declaring it over someone go forward go forward in your life go forward in the name of Jesus like people will say you take one step forward and then you take ten backwards that is not the destiny of the believer in Christ for the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light is that in your Bible that shineth brighter more and more I'm saying it again to those of you here in the name of Jesus whatever has held you down I prophesy to you go forward in Jesus name we pray please return back to your seat rejoicing return back to your seat rejoicing return back to your seat rejoicing hallelujah let me take one scripture then we'll begin to minister deliverance and then with healing hallelujah I was going to give us a charge I will still do it for a few minutes on the power of expectation please write the word is very important because that is the basis for the believers faith your faith is only built on the word the power of expectation what is expectation I wrote here a strong belief that something desired or anticipated will happen expectation is a strong belief that something desired or anticipated will happen that's what we call expectation that something desired something anticipated will happen in Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 24 very quickly Proverbs 10 24 the Bible tells us that the desire of the righteous shall be granted that the desire of the righteous redeemed by the blood of the Lamb that one of the benefits that comes with being in Christ is access to your desires granted desires of course that are in line with the will of God in Mark 11 and verse 24 Mark 11 24 Jesus was teaching on faith and here's what he had to say therefore I say unto you what things soever ye desire he says when ye pray believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them I like the Amplify version's rendition of verse 24 because it now brings perspective to it and it says, for this reason I am telling you whatever you ask for in prayer. In fact, one of the Amplified expressions says that it is consistent to God's will. It says, believe that it is granted unto you and you will get it. This, this expression of Amplified says, most believers, please listen, most people do not know that expectation is a law. It's not just when you do not have expectation, you can cripple the hand of God from being made manifest in your life. There is the law of expectation and that expectation is very, very powerful. 
Hallelujah. In 1st John chapter 5, I believe from verse 14 and 15, Apostle John in his epistle said, And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, it says he heareth us, 15. And if we know that he hear us, whatever we, whatsoever we ask, it says we know that we have our petitions that we desired of him. So God responds to the expectations of the saints. This is very, very important. The Bible is full of men and women who communicated desperations and expectations in the Bible and returned with testimonies. And the Bible is also full of others who trivialized the whole idea of expectations, even to their detriment. Many believers may wonder why you can be in such a strong apostolic prophetic atmosphere and yet surprisingly walk back with nothing because usually the problem is your expectation let me show you two examples in acts chapter 3 from verse 1 very quick reading acts chapter 3 and verse 1 the bible says peter and john went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer being the ninth hour verse 2 a certain man who was lame from his mother's womb the bible says who was carried that they laid him daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful so he would ask arms from the people there verse 3 it says who seeing peter and john about to go into the temple ask and arms and then the bible says verse 4 that peter fastening his eyes upon him with john said look on us now verse 5 the bible says he gave heed unto them expecting to receive something from them you can give heed to people in sarcasm well let me see if they, i can get one or two things but the bible says he paid rapt attention expecting to receive something from them hallelujah and then you know the end of the story down to verse 11 the bible says at the end of it the man was was healed and it was something that the people wondered when you read verse 11 the bible says that the people were greatly wondering it became a sign and a wonder because of expectation example number two i like this one in mark chapter 10 i think the, the story begins from verse 46 this is a popular story of blind Bartimaeus. the bible says that they came to jericho reading to 52 and as he went out um, of Jericho with his disciples follow closely a great number of people followed them then the Bible says that blind Bartimeo the son of Timeo sat by the highway begging 47 when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth he began to cry out expectation and he said Jesus thou son of David have mercy on me 48 now the Bible says many charge him that you should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. 49. The Bible says, and Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man saying to him, be of good cheer, rise, he called thee. Now watch a very interesting conversation that transpired. And he casting away his garment in other words i know i will never have to need this garment again and he threw it away the bible says he rose and came to jesus now jesus answered and said to him what will thou that i do unto thee that would look like a, a very sarcastic question what would you think a blind man would be desiring from you it would be a costly assumption to assume that the man wanted his eyes to be open Jesus looks like a, at a blind man who had already stretched his energy in shouting and instead of him to just lay hands on him he says what will thou that I should do unto thee and the man said the blind man said unto him Lord that I may receive my sight the man at gate beautiful was not wanting healing he wanted money is that true the Bible says he was begging for arms in other words the apostles I don't need to rise just give me money to take care of myself keep the scripture there 50 now 
the bible says verse 52 and jesus said unto him go thy way thy faith demonstrated to your expectation had made thee whole and the bible says immediately he received his sight and followed jesus in the way i like the end of that story he did not receive his sight and he, then he went back he received his sight and followed jesus jesus told him go your way but he followed the way go you receive your sight and go back but he said no now that i've received the sight i want to follow the one who gave me the sight are we together so there are many examples where people opened up their hearts to be expectant listen this is a very powerful law by the grace of god having ministered to people through the years i have seen how people trivialize expectations to their detriment you will be surprised that in such a powerful atmosphere as this there are people who may just come based on invitation or just based on the ritual of honoring a ministry's program and they sit down they celebrate they enjoy they laugh they jot down key points and go back receiving nothing because of the absence or the bankruptcy of expectations now let me show you the danger of not having an expectation acts chapter 12 please for sake of time we'll read verse 1 to 5 then we'll jump to verse 12. this was a story about um peter when peter was bound in prison it says now about that time herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church too he says and he killed james the brother of john with the sword verse 3 he says and because he saw that it pleased the jews he proceeded further to take peter also then were the days of unleavened bread verse 4 he says and when he had apprehended him peter now he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending after easter to bring him forth to the people verse 5 watch this peter therefore was kept in prison he says but prayer was made without season of the church unto god for him so the church came together and they began to pray peter must not die lord rescue peter and you would think because of that dissipation of energy they had expectation let's go to verse 12 for the sake of time when you read from verse 6 to 11 the angel of the lord comes and then brings peter out we've read it many times here verse 12 watch this and when he had considered the thing, the Bible says he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John. That was where the prayer was going on, whose son name was Mark, where they were gathered together praying, reading to 16, 13 now. The Bible says, and Peter knocked at the door of the gate. A damsel came to hearken to him named Rhoda, 14. And when she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness but ran in and told how peter had stood before the gate don't forget this was the man they were praying for verse 15 and they said to her thou art mad but she constantly affirmed that it was even so and they said it is his angel can you imagine that verse 16 but peter continued knocking and when they had opened the door they saw him and were astonished that means while all that prayer was going on prayer chains peter you must go out of that prison they did not even believe there was no expectation that their prayer request came to their door and knocked they opened it and closed it back and said let's keep praying that's how many believers are father in the name of jesus i know you will turn my life around you will change my story and yet there is no expectation you would see these people praying a prayer group a prayer chain praying in the house of mary and yet peter delivered by an angel in response to their prayer he now came to the door it was not a vision peter was knocking the damsel came opened the door shut it for gladness returned back and told them stop praying the answer has come they say no we don't believe it just let him keep knocking now if peter went back in anger they would conclude from that prayer meeting that god does not answer prayers could it be that there are people here whilst you came here and singing dancing celebrating shouting amen but the truth is that you do not have definite expectations 
if the Lord Jesus were to stand on this pulpit right now this stage he would ask you the same question he asked blind Bartimaeus: what do you want me to do for you god i'm tired of my issues that is not an expectation that is lamentation remember that's what happened in john chapter 5 to the man at bethesda jesus said what would i do for you he started complaining i have no man that's not what jesus asked him what do you desire that is the reason why you see we guide people by writing prayer expectations is a way of helping to articulate your expectations lord i am trusting you to open a financial door i am trusting that in the name of jesus christ this and that would happen many people do not have expectations and it's the reason why it looked like god does not reveal his outstretched arm towards them hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 paul admonishes us in hebrews 11 and verse 6 saying that without faith it is impossible to please him he says for he that cometh to god we've dealt with this in this house the bible says he must come believing number one that god is meaning he exists and then number two that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him in other words you come here whilst you are seated celebrating what god is doing already there must be a definite expectation within your heart whether you are following online you are following here on site across all the overflows outside you must make up your mind that i am not just here to waste my time i have expectations and you see an expectation that cannot be articulated is no expectation at all what do you want god to do for you general lifting there's no such thing as that that statement already is both a sign of spiritual ignorance and then the fact that you are not prepared to receive anything. Are we together now? Yes. So faith, I wrote here, is expectation that is based on God's integrity and ability as revealed by his word. That faith is expectation based on God's integrity and ability as revealed by his word. It's impossible to say you have Bible faith without expectation because faith must be connected to an object, expectation. There must be something definite. Hallelujah. If you're with me, shout amen. amen. Tonight, many of us have come and sadly many are here and even though you've seen the power of god move already there are many people who are without expectations and the lord put it in my heart as we step into this second session of the miracle service that without an expectation sadly you may return back with no testimony at all because expectation is a law if it is bible faith it must be connected to specific things and specific areas where you want god to visit you I wrote a list of things here that represent many people's desires and expectations. Number one, marital issues. Number two, diseases and sicknesses, the things that plague people, that necessitate an expectation. Three, financial situations of all kinds. Number four, demonic oppressions. Five, the need for restoration. Six, direction of all kinds breakthroughs deliverances from all kinds of yokes every time you see a people gathered unto god like this this usually are the issues that represent their pain that represent their expectations and until you are able to articulate it you look at anything in your life that does not reveal or reflect the glory of god you now connect lord i trust you and i release my faith that this situation must come to an end for instance i mentioned by the spirit the case of people maybe having financial issues here you saw the number of people who came i was very impressed it is a terrible thing to not know what is wrong with you it is a terrible thing to not even know what you need are we together now that's why the holy spirit guides us when we come so that you will know when your word comes and so that you will know when to receive and to manifest your testimonies. 
your testimony will not pass you by I wrote finally here that every genuine expectation is expressed in words and action please write every genuine expectation is expressed in words and actions expectations that cannot be expressed in words and in action is not expectation at all every genuine expectation is expressed in words words there means you must be able to pray it and you must be able to take the necessary steps as required for victory every genuine expectation now imagine those who were just healed and delivered just like that did you know that if their word came as it came and they did not come out maybe they just sat down saying well it's none of my business you will be surprised that with the power of God moving up and down, it will pass them by because they did not, God will not force his power on you. I hope you know that. I'm saying this because when we begin to pray and we begin to minister deliverance and minister healing and so on and so forth, and then more importantly, your prayer request. No matter how accurate God has granted the grace, we see in part, we prophesy in part. This is why everybody is given the liberty to write your prayer request. Please let me encourage you. Don't get so used to just writing and submitting your prayer request. It is a very powerful tool. It is a way of guiding you by the Spirit to clearly articulate your expectations. There are things you may not have the courage to say here. Imagine how embarrassing it will be if I call you and I say, tell us everything that is your expectation. Some will be personal. There are things that is between you and God alone. That's why we write it and we pray over it here. And from here, it is burnt. It is nobody's business what you have written. Are we together? That means you should not spare when writing the things you are trusting God for. What things soever ye desire, it says, when ye pray, you are a man of God and ministry is not working. No doors opening, souls are not being saved. You write it. Father is supernatural breakthrough in ministry. Write it clearly. I have a son. What is his name? John. John does not seem to be a disciplined gentleman, write it. Supernatural restoration for John. I'm showing you how to prepare. You write it both in your heart and then on paper. So that when we begin to pray, as the power of God is coming, it is resting upon your expectation and turning it into a testimony. You can return back and know that this happened to me. And you can return back to testify, I wrote this. Jesus did this. Look what my life has become now. When Dave was here taking the testimony, he said there is before and after. But that only happens when there is an expectation. Is someone learning? Yeah. When I pray preparing for the miracle service or any other service for that matter, I have expectations myself as a man of God, even for the meeting. Some are revealed by the Spirit. Some come as my sincere desire to see God's people blessed. And these expectations are reflected in my, prayer, my prayers as I prepare for the meeting. Lord, bless your people. For instance, two major expectations is healing and financial breakthrough. This has been my major expectation and my prayers for God's people. Because this is what I have discerned that Satan is using to cripple his body. These two things. One, sicknesses of all kinds extending to demonic attacks. Number two, financial problems. You will be surprised to see how many believers are stranded financially. And let me tell you the truth, for as long as God has anointed us, but I'm not somebody, when I am I'm dealing with issues that help believers to rise, I'm not ashamed of it. When you are blessed and you rise, it is a joy to Jesus, to the purposes of God, and even to me. For as long as you are under this ministry, you will not be poor. Let me tell you the truth. It's true. You will learn the ways of the kingdom, but you will also receive the engracings and the prophetic backing that it takes to rise. Are we together? Healing and finances. These were my major areas. 
doesn't mean we'll touch on other areas but these two areas that means by the time we begin to minister in this second session when you hear me speaking and declaring over your finances shout a loud amen and receive it with all your heart don't be like the foolish man who stood at the gate of samaria and and was trying to mock the prophet elisha that even if god will open the heavens might this happen and he said you will see it but you will not eat of it god is changing the stories of men god is surprising people you see people come and they're testifying here healings and even financial miracles that is not all god can do he will respond to your expectation for someone you are here praying saying lord i cannot have five boys ten boys and none of them has risen as their mother i'm still feeding them age 40 age 50 age 30 that that demonic oppression must stop and god comes to you for someone maybe there's no peace in your home you love the lord but it's as if there is there is war always happening in your home father i need peace you are the prince of peace bring peace to my home and you'll be surprised while you are here the husband and wife can be here and the fire of god just falls upon them an altar call is made and you'll see your husband coming to give his life to christ and that begins the journey of total transformation maybe you're a man of god who loves god but there's almost zero anointing on your life and your ministry you struggle on the pulpit and it looks like god did not call you you can bring that to an end the anointing is transferable graces are transferable apostle i'm here i love the lord but i don't even know what i'm doing on earth i'm just escorting men around the corridors of their destiny i need to find my place do you have it as an expectation an expectation is more than a wish a wish is a careless desire with no consequences whether it is actualized or not an expectation comes with dogged faith attached to it lord i'm, I'm committing your integrity on this matter archbishop benson idahosa of blessed memory said if your faith says yes that god will not say no because if it is bible faith it will be based on his will so there is no reason why god should say no are we together apostle i'm tired i've been married 10 years 15 years no child well i'm sure that god will open my womb that kind of as that that is a careless you know very very shabby wish it will not happen that way father in the name of jesus i thank you this is my miracle service i connect and i declare that in the name of jesus by next miracle service i'm already pregnant i release my faith you believe and while you are saying it the devil will be mocking you and saying is that not what you said last miracle service has it happened now you need to learn how to forget about the devil when you are dealing with god don't allow him come and interrupt your conversation with god you are talking to the king of kings the lord of lords the creator of the ends of the earth don't let satan come and interrupt your discussion father i know in the name of jesus that i can complete this house I've begun this building project as it is now I may be stranded but in the name of Jesus you have told me that this year of open doors that in Jesus name I will dedicate my own house while he's saying it here comes the devil he will whisper all kinds of things and say just to remind you for the records that you lost your job last month and just to let you know that right now as it is they've increased the school fees of your children before you know it you will take your attention from Jesus Christ and you are listening to the devil and at the end of it your your prayer request will make you you just be reduced from the realm of the spirit to the realm of the flesh how do you know you have come back to the realm of the flesh what you were once confident upon will look like stupidity you know you are being reduced back to that realm lord i'm trusting you for supernatural partnership for my ministry and then eventually you say ah boy use your sense who will come and give you one million 10 million, 100 million. The devil has succeeded in bringing you down. The Bible says, this I say then, walk ye in the spirit. That to be spiritually minded, it says to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Is someone learning now? I want you to come and li listen. You do not know the joy that is in my heart when people come to stand here and testify because testimony is the end product of the manifestation of faith 
that God's word has finally delivered unto me. And now you are declaring to the nations that he's faithful. You are declaring to the nations that he's dependable. You are my God. That's what happens when you declare that you are my God. Regardless the limitations, I prevail by faith. You are my God. Despite the cost in the family, now I have the children. Listen to me. Believers, hear me. If you do not believe that God is able to step in for you, then just know that you are wasting your time as you are seated here. Don't make up your mind. Father, I'm not going to be the one just catching people as they fall. I'm not going to be the one watching people as they say amen. And some of you, the lack of expectation even appears physically. A word is coming in the name of Jesus and you just stand. And you are seeing somebody receive, you know, just verbalizing, this is my word. And you just stand watching, wow. And then when it looks very powerful, you just lift one hand and say amen. You will never receive like that. God is not a fool. Are we together? expectation has an attitude they said look on us and the bible says he looked at them expecting to receive when elisha was going to receive from elijah there was an attitude if you can see me as i'm taking up some of you have come here to access mantles and to access graces don't sit down and, and your ministry is dying whereas there is a plethora of graces you can access and rise to a position where you are of value to the kingdom don't be a man of God as if you are not anointed. But it's your expectation. A word can be coming. Oh, the healing anointing is coming. And, you, and that is really what you need. Let me tell you the truth. If you're a man of God, the sick are not healed through your hands. Oppressed people are not delivered. Lives are not being changed. Can I surprise you? Even if you're a good teacher, especially in Africa, believe me, there will be limitations because in ministry, it is the message and the backing that go hand in hand. If what you are communicating is truth, it must be backed up with signs following. And for any genuine ministry, people must hear and see the workings of God. In Acts chapter 8, when you read from verse 5 down to 8, the Bible says, Philip went down to Samaria and he preached Christ unto them. 6 says the people gave heed to the things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles that he did. That means he said Jesus is able to do this and he demonstrated it. Jesus is able to lift and he demonstrated it. Jesus is able to wipe away tears and he demonstrated it. So it is my desire that you are a man of God here, a minister of the gospel. Do not just, yes, you may come to receive healing or whatever it is for yourself. But among the many things you should not forget to carry is the grace that produces that result. Are we together? Yes. Whenever I have the privilege of meeting genuinely anointed people, especially fathers of faith, I'm like a sponge. I don't go there saying I'm anointed too. I search especially spiritually what are the graces that i need for this level in my life that are not yet at work in my life and any opportunity god grants me to connect i connect by faith i was so touched with the testimony of that redeemed that precious redeemed pastor that was already a man of god a pastor and that's the problem especially with most people you will feel i'm a pastor too we are all men of god i have taught you you never receive having a colleague mentality he was at the redemption camp according to his story already and God gives him a word and then he takes that risk to empty his account now look a land owner in Lekki the mainland and I can tell you that is only child's play compared to what is coming results happen by steps of faith and then graces that work don't forget this when the grace for something is on your life you cannot but produce the results these are not cunningly devised fables once you are seated under this atmosphere 
even if you are not sick in your body even if you are not trusting God for any financial miracle even if you are not trusting God for any breakthrough do you know that you can become a living potent career of certain graces and I told you that graces are not silent the career may be silent but the grace will not be silent no graces make noise when grace a grace is upon your life you cannot but manifest and I'm praying for someone already in the name of Jesus every grace that is missing but required in ministry in business every grace that is required but not yet at work in your life may this be the season you will carry it Hallelujah. There are many graces that are available for believers. And, and, and you see, every time, when, when I speak like this, I speak passionately. There is no need to struggle. We have done teachings on the body of Christ here. It is foolishness, I'm telling you, when, when you refuse to open up your heart to receive the graces that are available, especially when of it it's like somebody crying hallelujah and of God respectfully speaking he just reached me and we're laughing he said apostle I heard that when you open up for volunteers for the UK conference there were about 3,000 people that that is enough for a conference on itself and this will how do 3,000 people come together in another land are we together now in another land, 3,000 people to be volunteers, to be the workforce. Not the people coming for the conference. It is not pride. It's a grace. And you can carry that same grace to your shop. You can carry that same grace to your ministry. Are we together now? Yes. It is my prayer that sooner or later, God will help us to see the value of impartations. Your Christian experience will be barren in many regards. There are many of us here, and, and I, I say this from, from a heart of love. If one person having a crutch, one person alone is healed in your church or your ministry or your prayer group, that one healing alone can bring you tens of partners to come and stand with you and say, we believe in what God is doing. You're not going to be able to do end time ministry being powerless, bankrupt of graces. You speak over people, they don't shout amen because they know that shouting is wasting their time. There is a track record of you making a lot of noise with no result. Everything mocking God in your life, in the name of Jesus Christ, it dies at this miracle service. <laughs> Hallelujah. No, you should not be ordinary. You lay hands on people. They are even looking at you frowning because they believe that nothing came on their head. And they are right. Since I laid hands on you, what happened to you? Absolutely nothing. In fact, I went down. I was even better before you laid hands. As soon as your hand came on me, I, the remaining part of the breakthrough now went down. Your life must change. Your life, must change. your life must change your mind must change your mind must change your life must change your life must change how do you know you have access grace the results the results the results what suddenly happened to your shop man of God where did you go to that God is drawing as many to be saved I used to know you as an ordinary preacher while you are preaching were sleeping what came upon you that now you are communicating the Word of God with fire and precision with signs and wonders following I met a man of God who I think he was around last week or week before last and he shared a very touching testimony he said apostle I used to struggle so much in ministry I would open my Bible and literally be frustrated on stage 
and he said one time i came i don't know for which of the services and i received an impartation he said when i went back it was fire now what surprised him was that most people in the church did not even know that he came here but to his greatest shock he said he started seeing his worship team literally reflecting like our people here he didn't tell them oh this is the thing about impartation the spirit you contact is what begins to work you contact excellence you'll be surprised the most disorganized people in your organization something starts bringing them together they do not even know where you went to receive an impartation from Please believe what I'm telling you. Graces speak. They looked at Peter and said, these are unlearned men, but they discerned that they had been with Jesus. I'm saying this because we'll be rising up shortly and I want your hearts to, if you're sick, trust God to step in for you. But among the many things I'm praying that will happen to us is this area of healing, this area of financial breakthrough and then impartation. Don't be limited, my brother, my sister. Refuse to be limited. You are a prophet and people are still doubting. Are we together now? We who are not even prophets by office are prophesying more than you. It's not, it's not, it's not competition. I'm challenging you. You can rise to a level of the prophetic with uncanny mastery. That you speak the counsel of God and nations who stand still because they have learned that you have leaned your ears to the heart of God and that when you say you heard God, you really heard. How about some of us here who are jumping up and down saying we are kingdom financiers? You've not supported the, the program of God with one naira. Because the devil has seen that you have a heart for God and he's fighting the resources from coming. It will take more than business ideas as important as that is. There is a forceful dimension of the prophetic that can push you into your Goshen. There are many gifted people who the world does not know of and it ought not to be so because you see the bible says neither do men light a lamb and put it under a bushel listen to me it is not a manifestation of flesh when you desire sincere visibility for the purpose of the kingdom without visibility and influence the nations cannot know you are there it's not by trying to market yourself you are lifted by grace there is a hand that lifts men and puts them in a position where the nations know that god has lifted you now it gives you the platform to serve the purposes of god many of us are frustrating ourselves trying to manipulate ourselves into visibility it doesn't happen that way when that grace is on you you can be in a cave and yet from that cave god will raise men to look for you now i don't know what your expectation is tonight but for the next two or three minutes i'm going to allow you with the lord jesus christ verbalize your expectation Please open your mouth and cry to the Lord that which you desire him to do in this miracle service. Please pray. Someone is verbalizing his expectation. The expectation of the righteous shall not be caught short. Salata paratos kafrande keberetos kalika brasigetesh. Man of God, what do you desire the Lord to do in this season where the wave of His glory, the wave of revival is sweeping from nation to nation? I repeat to you again, we are in the days of His power. We are in the days of His power. We are in the days of apostolic signs and wonders heralding the end time move of Jesus across the nations.
Sala Barakataska Franda Gabaretto Sikata. Businessman, what do you desire that God does in this season where He's raising men and giving men the wealth of nations to frontier the purposes of the kingdom? One more minute, don't be silent. you're a man of God I like you to declare I'm tired of doing ministry without genuine power tired of the difficulty experience in calling many to Jesus drawing many to Jesus oh for they need to come and come in their multitudes we are in the days of his power. My Bible says the people shall be willing. Few more seconds. Hallelujah. Listen, maybe one day when we have the opportunity and we're teaching, I will share with you a bit of my story and how I sought for and pursued some of these graces that God has so graciously made available today. In as much as God has granted me the privilege of encounters with Jesus, I can tell you that there are many graces that are upon my life today that did not just come from that one encounter or those encounters. There were times in my life when I had to review my life with respect to God's expectation for me and I had to search by knowledge, by mentorship and by revelation the graces that will be required for my efficiency. I am still a seeker of those graces up until today and I began to intentionally meticulously search for the graces that are responsible for producing genuine ever increasing results I submit to you again that struggle will never end until grace comes on an individual Many people, you, you can have a semblance of result. You can jump and keep gyrating. If the results are not there, it is because the grace is not there. It's as simple as that. So I want you, please hear me. Do not be distracted. Because I trust that by God's grace, I will be speaking from the depth of my spirit. And for God's sake, I'm praying that somebody will, even if it's for the first time, that you will open up your heart to carry something, something of substance. And it doesn't matter whether you are male or female, doesn't matter whether you are young or old, doesn't matter whether you are found or on sight. The most important thing is your faith. Make up your mind that ministry will not be barren again. Make up your mind that you will not be around rigma rolling as if God did not call you. Make up your mind. You're not the first to do what you're doing. It is the bankruptcy of the grace needed. And you may say, I have an anointing. Is it for the level you are stepping into? Yesterday's anointing will not command today's results. No, sir. Hallelujah. Can I start with an impartation? It's going to be a very quick walk tonight. 
even if we don't have time to get to take testimonies no problem let me start with an impartation listen to me I want to start with impartation for ministers of the gospel everybody will receive but particularly you are you are a minister of the gospel let your heart be open I want to release a grace upon you ministers of the gospel it's time to do this powerlessness in the church if we do not drive it away by the introduction of genuine graces the purposes of God and the program of God will suffer I call upon the God of my covenant and in the name of Jesus I declare for everyone called into ministry the mantle and the grace needed take it now 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 the grace needed for efficiency receive it in the name of Jesus hear me if you are a prophet here may your eyes and your ears be opened supernaturally may a mantle come upon you male and female may that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ the healing anointing I'm seeing fire coming on the hands of people I don't know who you are but drink of that fountain in the name of Jesus Christ drink of that fountain a new wave of the healing anointing a new wave of the healing anointing I release it upon you I, re I release it upon you take that grace now signs and wonders I shift you into a ministry of signs and wonders potent signs and wonders in the name of Jesus Christ that through your hands the blind will see through your hands the deaf will hear through your hands cripples will walk in the name of Jesus Christ hear me every dimension of the gift of the spirit that is missing in your life but required for your destiny I'm telling you I'm seeing like candles I'm seeing candles in the spirit and fire is coming on those candles this is what I'm seeing it looks like Acts chapter 2 and verse 1 that Pentecost fire let it come upon you now that Pentecost fire let it come upon you now Pentecost fire with proof in your spiritual life I'm still praying for everyone but particularly ministers of the gospel the spirit of revelation superior illumination into scripture I tell you men and women will teach scripture like never before the Word of God will open up to you you will communicate doctrine and the mysteries of scripture with precision and exactitude receive that grace right now receive that grace the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus Christ every altar that has been barren of power from any man or woman of God here in the name of Jesus return back to your various stations with fire return back to your various stations with fire in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the name of the Lord let's do the finance one now father it is your desire for your people to prosper even in this season and many of them have come from situations right now where except you help and show mercy certain financial doors may not seem to be opened but in the name of Jesus you have orchestrated this service 
for the mysterious lifting of men therefore the grace component required for your financial exploits receive it now hmm. Hmm. receive it now receive it now hear me there are many of you by reason of this impartation a strange order of wisdom is resting on your mind superior strategies superior ideas in the name of Jesus Christ and every spirit of lack and poverty that has followed any family here I don't care for how long it has been I arrest it now in the name of Jesus I arrest it now in the name of Jesus I arrest it now in the name of Jesus hallelujah please be silent I want you to bring all the people who will be under the anointing now just be silent you don't say you've prayed this is the instruction God is giving me I want to rebuke certain strange spirits that have held on to certain destinies and usually I will ask you to shout but the Lord is giving me an instruction to be silent in the name of Jesus father even as you have instructed everyone here and every family here under the influence of wicked spirits yokes covenants aha uh -huh, in the name of Jesus Christ I'm telling you there's there's such fire that is moving in the name of Jesus let there be deliverance for such people supernaturally please bring them out whether for individuals or families very quickly men and women everything that has tied your progress I decree and declare right now be released be released be released please bring them out my God fire is falling in this place bring them quickly ancestry yokes of darkness you may not even know that is the cause the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit something is leaving you I'm seeing someone like a chain around your waist let it be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it be broken now. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. It happened to your father. It happened to your mother. It happened to your siblings. The blood is speaking against it now. The apakosh ketepata. The blood is speaking against it now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Please bring them out quickly. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Sing yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is no other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm seeing fire burn the feet of people. And the Lord is saying he's opening graves I don't know what this means but in the name of Jesus every family here that has been tied down by witchcraft and ancestry I stretch my hands fire fire begins to burn everything that is not of God bring them out let it destroy the works of darkness let it destroy the works of darkness connected to ancestry 
connected to the spirits of the dead be delivered now I'm still praying. Please be sensitive. This is a very prophetic moment. Every two, two years, someone must die in that family. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is bringing deliverance. Someone must die. Where are those people? The power of God is coming on you now. Right now, I break that chain of that pattern, that pattern of death. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Anyone here appointed unto death that the devil has vowed that you must die this year I don't know where you are but in the name of Jesus I want to rebuke that influence over your life and I hope you know that as you are standing here you can stand in for your loved ones too wherever they are spirit of death I speak to you you know my voice anyone whose destiny you have hijacked release them now release them now release them now negative and demonic dreams seeing yourself in the past past schools writing exams that never finish all kinds of satanic things everything that connects you negatively to yesterday be set free right now please help them this apakatoshkate pata be set free right now be set free right now hear me the lord is asking me to repeat this same thing again you go to bed and you see yourself doing things you had done before. Levels you have left. According to scripture, believers don't go backward. We only go forward. Every spirit drawing you back, I break you from their influence now. Let me tell you this, hear me. I hope you know I used to have those experiences myself before. You've heard my story. As a man of God though, not just a, an, an ordinary believer, I used to have those experiences where demons would come and press me and all those things. I would shout Jesus, shout Jesus, nothing will happen. That is why when you see me ministering deliverance to people, I do it with passion because I've been a victim of oppression. Again, let me speak to someone. You have prayed, you have fasted, you have tried, and yet nothing has changed. In the name of Jesus, this night, be delivered permanently. 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 Hallelujah. Don't be tired. I'm seeing in a vision. This is what I'm seeing. The hands of people tied. How can a man move like this with your hands tied? How can a man move like this and walk with your hands tied? I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus, let fire from heaven. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. You may even have a job, yet your hands are tied. I don't know whose hand is tied or whose destiny is tied. At the count of three, shout Jesus. And your deliverance comes. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be delivered now. I break those chains. I break them from your hands. I break those chains. I break them from your hands. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the vision of a door. And I'm seeing many people queuing in front of that door. And according to the vision I'm seeing, trying to force the door to open. And some are even crying. And I'm seeing people dropping, like dying. Yet that door is not opened. I believe that this is a sign of advancement or retrogression. That doors, and I believe that this line represents families and even generations that have stood. There are doors that have limited families that they say nobody can pass through this door. You can go abroad, you can school, like this our dear woman, the professor that came to give a testimony. Let me open that door prophetically. I taught you at the beginning of this year that there are three ways doors are open. Number one is by the use of the right key. Number two is by knocking the ministry of men. But number three, by force and power. Let me use number three. Because when those doors open, they open from their foundations. I decree and declare every generational door that has closed Parakatos Yata. I stand and as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let that door be open now. I break that door now. Generational doors be open, be open, be open, Ephata, be open, be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be surprised to see what happens to you as a result of this miracle service. Hear me, you see, when a door is open or broken. The most important thing is that the right of way has been given. You will begin to see mysterious advancement happening to you. In the name of Jesus, for all who are in front here, I declare prophetically that God who has located you, you have come out by the anointing, the spirits that oppress you, I declare the count of three in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. They release you once and for all. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Release them now. Out of their lives. Never to return again. In the name of Jesus. The son sets them free. And we declare as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are free forever. They are free forever. They are free forever. In the name of Jesus, please hear me. I told you that I have discerned that among the many things that God is doing is bringing health and healing to his people and also bringing financial stability. You see the teachings that I've been bringing. These are not just teachings that are coming carelessly because one of the things that the devil has released upon the body of Christ, please hear me, is death through sickness mysteriously people just wake up and you find out that there are diseases you cannot account for are we together now it is our responsibility to be able to discern what heaven is doing and to be able to communicate God God's intent for his people so this prayer for healing we may not have time for testimonies because our time is gone you can always register your testimony but I want to pray with you Listen, if there is any loved one you know in your life who is sick, please, as I'm praying, connect with them so that they don't die for nothing. And for those who are connecting from any hospital, our teaching hospitals, private hospitals, now is the time. It's incredible how people connect from hospitals and release their faith. Please connect. We're, we're, we're talking now under the influence of the anointing. Lay your hands on your chest. If you have a medical report, bring it out. I'm about to pray. That devil must let you go. Must let your children go. Please place your hand right now. I want to minister the life and the healing power of Jesus. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And then we'll pray. Praises to your name. Oh God. For your name is great 
and greatly to be praised place your hand there i sing praises to your name oh god praises to your name oh god for your name is great and greatly we lift your name As I pray for you, I shout the name of Jesus. I want you to thunder a loud amen. Let the devil and let that sickness know. I told you expectation must be expressed in words and in action. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every spirit that is back of any infirmity in the name of him who died and rose again I speak as one sent from God may that spirit leave your body now that devil of infirmity leave God's people now from America to Europe, to South Africa, to Kenya, to Zimbabwe, to Ghana, to Lagos, to Abuja, to Joss, to Kano. Let the healing power of God begin to flow right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. 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 Blood conditions be healed now. Yes. Cancer die now. Yes. HIV be healed now. Yes. Blood conditions of any sort we declare healing right now. Yes. Blind eyes, partial or complete blindness, we command that you open now. Yes. Deaf ears be open now. Anyone here suffering from the issue of blood, I declare be healed right now. Every demonic growth roaming around any part of your body, there is someone, fire is coming on you. There's movement all over your body. You literally feel things moving in your body from your head to your toe be set free right now there's someone you are having a problem with your heart in the name of Jesus be healed right now the Lord is showing me a woman in a vision it started like having you know how you have cold maybe a flu or something and then you lose your voice but till now your voice is not restored this has this has become months you know most times people just take maybe lemon warm water or something some you know and and then eventually their voices their, their, the sound returns but for this woman your, your your voice refused to return back so you speak as though you are whispering it's a demonic thing i restore your speaking now in the name of jesus christ 
there is a woman you are laying your hands right now you are in this place you are laying your hands upon your daughter your little baby there's been a mysterious sickness you don't even know why she's losing appetite she's not eating she know not sucking not doing all of that in the name of Jesus Christ let that little baby be healed right now now whether I've mentioned your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed now the Lord is showing me a plot by darkness to take someone's father and mother the same day this is what I'm saying in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is a mysterious sickness just destroying both of them like in this not accident like that just you know in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare we extend their life to its fullest you will not lose any of your loved ones again therefore be healed be perfected hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching